So what's great about Fidelity Total Farm is it actually comes with a companion phone app. So that's what you're looking at right now. So to log in, it's the same exact login that I used earlier that I initially created on the desktop. And what's nice is it connects the two accounts obviously together. So if I go to my farms, I'll see those farms that I created earlier today, the subdivision Vista del Oro farm and the Point Furman farm. So I'll select the Point Furman farm and I have access to the same exact information. So the property owner's information, such as their names, uh, the property address itself, if they live there or not. And what's great too is it actually is a really great app to use if you're going to be door knocking. So for example, how this might work is uh, let's say I wanted to start door knocking at 543 West 26th Street and move along in a geographic order. So what I can do is select start walking at the bottom left of the screen, navigate to that address, 543 West 26th Street, and I can have this handy with me as I'm door knocking. So as I'm approaching that door, I know the owner's names already. I know when they purchased the property, if I scroll down, what they purchased it for. So I see that uh, they purchased it in 2019 for $590,000. If I have a conversation with them, I can enter in notes here. So I can say, have interest in selling next year. Maybe if they gave me any other information about them, I can place this in this notes section here and it'll actually connect back to the Total Farm desktop version and I'll have those notes handy as a CRM later on. And also what's nice is I can... Uh, keep uh, track of the actual door knocking activity uh, with this status drop down uh, item here where it says set status. So I can say it was a lead if I had that conversation or I can go prospect, maybe not interested or not home. Uh, so let's say not home in a different example case saying, do you wanna to proceed to change the status? Select yes. And now that status will be that they're not home. And say I'm just door knocking, what I can do easily is just swipe to the right for the next home same information, sales date, price, keep swiping to the right as I'm walking through that farm area. And then the difference between the green circles and the red circles is owner occupied or out of state. So if you're walking to a door and you see this red circle appear, that means it's non-owner occupied. So now they have the information ahead of time. If this is likely a renter approaching and maybe I have a different script for a potential uh, buyer script, right? For door knocking versus if it's a homeowner. It's a really great tool. And then navigating back, walking farms is a great resource. So let's say I wanted uh, to door knock around an open house, right? It doesn't even have to be a farm I already have created. I can enter in the property address. I'll just do it around this neighborhood here that it's locating me at. So let's say I wanted to uh, door knock the nearby neighbors. I can select draw map. And I simply drag my finger over the homes and the uh, direction I want to be door knocking in. Then select next, I'll name it open house door knocking. Click OK. It's going to load these properties. And once again, give me the owner's name when they purchase it, what they purchased it for. Select next and it's actually going to give, uh, give me a breakdown of which properties are owner occupied and which are non owner occupied. So like I said, once again, as you're approaching that door, you already have that information at your disposal. So now you see here, all the green icons are owner occupied. The reds are non owner occupied. I can click go to farm. Now I have that farm handy and I can start walking. So it's uh, click uh, start walk, start walking, start at 234 Loma Ave. Once again, gives me all that property inform information and I can keep track of a really handy uh, app as I'm door knocking.